In this video, guys, I'm gonna look at one tried and tested trick to deal with FOMO. Many traders use this and it's quite effective. Stay tuned. Hey guys, warm welcome to you. All right, so speaking with other traders, and some traders really kind of feel FOMO. FOMO, by the way, is fear of missing out. You know, you don't take something, uh, you wanna take it because you fear you're gonna miss it. And you end up taking it, it's the wrong trade, all this kind of stuff. We've done a video completely on that, but this is going one step further and looking at one trick to deal with FOMO. So, having spoken to other traders and how they deal with FOMO, this seems to come up as a way of dealing with it very, very often. So I'm gonna share it with you in case you don't know about it already. So let's look at an example here. Let's stick our chart up and let's say, right, off we are, we're kind of here and we're starting to go up here and you want, you've got a target here, whatever it may be, and you wanna buy a breakout. Maybe you wanna buy a breakout, you wanna buy a breakout of the trend or you wanna buy the moving average. Plenty of ways to get on board that. Um, as you can imagine. But maybe it doesn't quite tick all your boxes and it doesn't quite fit the criteria. So you're in that dilemma. You're like, okay, it doesn't fit my criteria. I know I should be sticking to my trading plan. I shouldn't be taking this. But on the other shoulder, you've got that other little voice that's going, if you're going to miss this, you're going to miss this. And that's the FOMO voice. Now, the textbook would say, well, just don't listen to that voice. And just stick to your trading plan. But we know, guys, we're humans. We make mistakes. We make errors. We do things we shouldn't do. So how can we mitigate it? Perfect world, we just ignore that and take our trading planks. We know that's going to work. But perfect world doesn't exist. We make errors. We make, we do things that aren't quite right. Okay, so if we know that, then how can we do it? It's like this analogy of, I don't know if this is true or not, actually, I have to, have to look at someone on a plane, but there's an ashtray in plane toilets, and that is because even though people aren't allowed to smoke, they'd rather people be putting their cigarette out in the ashtray as opposed to putting it in the waste paper basket and causing a fire. So that, bear with me, get the analogy in a moment. The point is, ideal world, people shouldn't be smoking on planes, illegal, hazardous, all this kind of stuff. But real world, they know that the odd person is going to smoke in the plane. And so having the ashtray in there means that hopefully if they are going to do it, they don't put the whole plane at risk because they're trying to hide the cigarette and stick it in a waste paper bin full of uh, paper towels. They're going to put it in the ashtray and move out. So that's the analogy. It's loose, but you get it, right? So the feel of this is, well, okay, what do we do if we're going to break the rule anyway to kind of mitigate it? Well, what we do is we put on a small portion of the trade, and that could be anything from a tenth of the position to a quarter of the position. A quarter is a bit much because it adds too much weight to it and starts to kind of make it into a real trade. Probably a tenth is more like it. So if you normally do, let's say we're doing spread betting 10 pound a point, you do one pound a point. You wanna do a thousand shares, you're gonna do a uh, hundred shares. You get the idea. So what you're doing then is you're placing the trade, you're adding to the, adding to the position, your FOMO position here. And what that does is a couple of things. Is number one, it feeds that FOMO beast. The one who's saying, you're gonna miss it, gonna miss it. It's like, you've given him something. You've thrown him a little sweet. You've thrown him a snack, okay? He's there, all right, I'm in it, I'm in it, I feel okay. It's not a full size, but it will do. But also what you've also done is, and let's say, let's remove that quarter. I'm not happy about that, keep the 10th. You've not affected the actual longer term success and what's going to serve you longer term in trading of sticking to the trading plan. So you've not like you've gone a full boat and said, okay, well, I'm in a full clip here and fed them. You've done both. You've kind of kept the FOMO happy and you've done this. Now, obviously, whatever happens with that happens with that. You might go up and it might tag it. And you might even say, well, actually, look at my FOMO positions. I've taken 10 of these over a period of six months and four of them have worked. So maybe I need to be putting something in place that actually allows for this. Or I've taken 10 of these and they've all failed. They've all been absolutely rubbish and it might end up shutting up the FOMO in your mind that's saying you're going to miss out, you're going to miss out, you're going to miss out. So the easy thing is guys is you have a FOMO position. Tenth of your position if it's bothering you and you feel like you need to do something with it chuck a tenth on. Chuck a tenth on, put your stop in and it says right at least I'm in it and if it is the target or well, at least I was in it, I was in something with it, I didn't miss out. So it's just having that little tiny bit of skin in the game that doesn't mean you feel the 
full force of it if it goes up and tags the area that you thought it was going to tag but it wasn't quite setting up but still keeps you disciplined to stick to your trading plan and only add these things into your trading plan if they've gone past all the vetting process that you would do to build that trading plan in the first place all right guys let me thoughts on that comment section below thumbs up appreciate it if you liked it and if you're a subscriber already i do appreciate your support if you're not maybe consider doing so for more videos for me and others on the channel we'll talk about all stuff trading related take care keep risk manager whatever you do and bye-bye